Hey guys, I'm Nina. And I'm Randa, and today's video is a what I eat in a day. This video is actually a collab with Caitlin B. She also filmed a what I eat in a day. So after you watch this video, make sure to go check that out in the link in the description. She's newly vegan, so make sure to go show her some support by subscribing to her channel. She's super sweet and has awesome videos. I think you guys would really love her videos. If you want to see more what I eat in a days, so you know what to do. Be sure to give it a thumbs up so we know you liked it. Let's get into the video. Good morning, everybody. So this is a toasted Western bagel, just plain with some apricot jelly, really good. And this is some grape nuts, but this morning I kind of improvised. We didn't have frozen banana, so I used frozen blueberries and just a normal banana, and tastes real good. So much color. Here we have breakfast, we have some oatmeal, and then I have a banana that I'm gonna put on top of that. Then I'm gonna also have this little bar, it's just called One Bar, and it's all dried mangoes. On my oatmeal, I'm also gonna put a little maple syrup. For lunch, I'm having beans and rice with a lot of chard and nutritional yeast for some good flavor. I put some of this in it, engine two tomato basil, and I'm gonna mix up the yeast. You can see how much chard is in there. So beans, this, rice. Here's our snackies, it's some frozen bananas. Love the frozen bananas, We have people. two bags of these. This is what I use for banana milk. So after the beans, rice, and chard, I'm having a kind of dessert, which is grape nuts, banana milk, and some strawberries, just because I want something sweet as well. Check out this delicious lunch. We got a pita bread, and inside there's beans, some salsas, ketchup, and some nutritional yeast. As a snack, I like to eat a Western bagel with some peach jelly. For dinner, we're making pizza, so we bought these Engine 2 plant stone pizza crusts, and these are at Whole Foods. They were actually in the back, so we had to ask them for it, and they're like, oh, we keep it in the back. I'm like, oh, well, you should keep it in the front. Anyway, they're very low fat, which you know we love. This is gonna be great for a pizza. Engine 2 stuff in Whole Foods is the best. So it's frozen, it might take a longer time to cook, but we're gonna load this up with some veggies. The next step is the sauce. This is also Engine 2 Plant Strong. This is the classic tomato basil flavor. You can also find this in Whole Foods. I'm gonna lay some of the tomato sauce on it. That is what the sauce looks like. We are preheating the oven to 450. Now we're just gonna add some frozen vegetables on top. Load it up with vegetables. Now I'm gonna add some frozen broccoli. We should definitely get a picture once it's out of the oven. So one thing that's great about this pizza is because everything is frozen, it's super easy to make. All you're, we're doing is assembling. Like a three-year-old could make this if I can do it. I just um, chopped up a little bit of mushrooms and I love cooked mushrooms on pizza. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some on there. We want this to be a super filling and dense pizza. This is bomb. Now we are adding in a bit of spices. This is rosemary, I love the flavor of that. Make it gourmet. Now I'm adding a little bit of Mrs. Dash salt to give it more of a garlicky flavor. I'm adding yeast to give it that cheesiness. Nutritional yeast. Tutsa pizza, sriracha! Spicy. That looks great. Boom, baby. Randa, are you excited for this pizza? We're ready to get pizza fine. I'm excited for this pizza. We think it needs a little bit more sauce, so we're just gonna add a bit more sauce to it. Here we have the pizza. Picking it up, gonna put it in the oven. Now we are going to wait 10 minutes, and maybe a little longer, because a lot of it's frozen, but we'll let you know. Look at that pizza. Mmm. Mmm. Follow us on Snapchat to get live updates at Nina and Randa. So here is our dinner. I got Randa's pizza and my pizza. Super delicious. If you want to add any fresh herbs or fresh basil, whatever spices you want, maybe make a barbecue sauce pizza, feel free to do that, but this is great. What do you think of our pizza, Dad? How do you think it looks? I'm going to try it. I'll tell you in a second. No! The verdict is in for Rip's Crust. Wow, this is some great stuff. You guys should totally try this. Mm, delicious, and it makes making a pizza so easy. And if you make this recipe, tag us on Instagram so we can maybe repost your picture yeah. and all eat pizza together. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to go check out Caitlin's video. The link is in the description. Again, she's newly vegan. Show her some support. Subscribe to her. I know you guys love what I eat in a days, and you always say, 
Pose for what I eat today. I eat the same food all the time, so make sure to go check out her videos, and you can hopefully get some new ideas from her as well. We just joined you now, and if you don't know what that is, it's a live broadcast where you guys can ask us questions, interact with us. We love doing Q and A, so we thought it'd be a good chance to like answer more questions because we always love talking with you guys and interacting. It's an unedited thing, so it's just I don't know, it's just a different experience than YouTube. So make sure you're following us. The link is also in the description. We want to start doing you now broadcasts every Friday, so. Go follow us there and stay tuned. Don't forget to follow us on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. We love talking with you guys and staying up to date. Hit that subscribe button. We post videos every Thursday and Saturday. And we will see you next video. Bye.